up here and sing and, and, and show how good our voices are because God knows. But we're here to worship together. We are here to exalt the King of Kings. The baby came in a manger so that we can know the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you tonight. We thank you, Father, for your presence, which we feel right now. Thank you, Father, that we can turn to you. Oh, just lift your voices. Don't be afraid. He wants to hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. First song we're going to sing is called Joy to the World. If you know it, sing along with us.
in your nature sing in one accord. Lord, in one voice tonight, God, Lord, we declare, Lord, that you are King of kings and Lord of lords tonight. Our King, our Lord tonight, our Savior, Jesus is his name. Amen. How many are so grateful for the moments that uh, when you didn't feel him and you didn't know that he was there, but he was. Because his promise is that he'd never leave us nor forsake us. Even at our lowest lows, even our highest highs, that he would not leave us nor forsake us. And he chose such a unique way to come down to earth. I, I always, it always baffles me. I like to think of things. I like to read history and just think about all, all the different people that have been born. And it was such a weird way to come to, <laughs> come to earth. But he came with a purpose. He didn't come just to fill space or create drama with history. He came with a purpose. He saw where you would be today, today in this hour, in this moment, and he knows that you're not strong enough on your own, that you need a Savior, amen, that we all need a Savior, amen. So anybody that you think in your mind, man, they're just so far away from the Lord, there's just no way that they would be able to come to him. I want to break that mold. I want to break that out of the box of our mentality to say, man, God can save and rescue anybody who wants. Whoever is willing, whoever has a heart, who's ready to receive from the Lord, amen. Let us be part of that. Let us be part of that community that says, man, I want to be part of that uh, that, that witnessing and that knowing that Jesus is still alive and he changes lives, amen. This song we're going to sing is called How Many Kings, amen. to a place unexpected Would you believe after all we projected A child in a manger Oh, lonely and small The weakest of all Unlikeliest hero Rotten as a mother Shot just a child Is this who we were?
from being raised on high. He did not stay in that grave. He did not stay in the stable that he grew up. And he died for your sins. He died for my sins. He did not leave us destitute, but he gave us a hope, a peace that passes all understanding. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah, Jesus. enemies game plan for us to think that we have no future. Amen? I think you would be satisfied in that. That God has made a way. He's conquered the grave. Amen? He has overcome the grave. There's nothing that can stand in the way of that. And when we get a hold of that and we anchor that in our hearts, no matter what comes, God will remain on the throne. Amen? Let's trust in Him because He lives. I can face tomorrow. I don't have to worry about what's happened in the past. Yes, we've all made mistakes. I don't have to even worry about what's in the future because I know he's by my side. Amen? All the fear is gone. Amen? So many people I work with, so many people in my community where I, I've grown up, so many people that live with fear, just anxiety. And I don't believe that's what God has ever created us to be and intended. And I believe that when we get to that place, God meets us in that place. I believe that we need to lay that down. Amen? It's not for us to carry. We carry so many things in our hearts, in our lives that we're not meant to carry. Amen. Give it to the Lord. Amen. Just along that line of, of what God has done for us, I think about, you're welcome to have a seat. I want you guys to just worship however you want. If you feel like standing, you go right ahead. I won't be nervous, but I want you to worship. And sometimes we always say, well, worship, you have to be standing. No, well, I think you can sit and worship Jesus just as well. Um, but along with um, what God's done for us, He has done so much. Amen. Amen. He's done so much for us. I was thinking about the fact that, um, I guess it, this is just because of being a, a pastor's kid all my life. You know, you look at some people and um, you look at church attendance, Brother Seville, <laughs> and you say, why are people coming to church? Like, they say it, and then they, they don't, and then they say it again, and they don't. And don't, please, please know my heart. I'm not trying to, to give you a, a hard time. I just think about the fact of this. God has given us seven days in a week. Blessed us. Not just given, but blessed us with so much. What if... For one minute, <laughs> God let his all sufficiency and all provision and all, all that we could ever need, let it go just for one minute over our lives. What could happen? It'd be scary what could happen in one minute. We could fall over a heart attack. We could be hit on head collision. In a head on collision, we could be lost all of our money, all of our savings in one minute. It's all it takes, really. But God has protected us and kept us for how many hours in a week? And we have a hard time giving him two, maybe two hours in church. Really, what I'm getting to, the point of that, I'm not trying to beat you up. <laughs> My point is this, is that when you come in those doors, that's an offering to the most high. Amen. It is. Amen. Not saying that we're something big and we got all these plans in our week and we can fit God in for two hours. Not, not going that direction. But going the direction of Jesus, this is my offering to you. You know what? There has been times that I have come into church and I didn't have money to give them the offering. Just because whatever. I have maybe maybe a dime. I was like, this feels ridiculous. Go up to the offering plate and drop in my little dime. But really, it's all about our heart. And because of all that he's done, because I can face tomorrow, because I have no fear, I want to bring an offering to him. Not just my presence, but by the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. May it be acceptable unto you, Jesus. May it be, bring you glory because you've done so much for me. Hopefully I'm speaking for you. Because you have saved me. You have healed me. 
You have given me peace when I shouldn't have peace. You have spoken, spoken your promises over me, and I can claim those promises. I don't have to wonder, oh, is he is he gonna be good this today or is he gonna be bad today? No. Nope. All the time. All the time. It might not look good to me. <laughs> But I just see a little itty bitty picture of what he sees. So, may this be your song. A couple of years ago, this was my song. And I don't know if anybody else does, if this happens to them. But there's a song usually that once a year, Sister Holly, I just, it gets in my spirit. And it's almost like my song for the year. <laughs> and what, whether I'm driving in a car or whatever I'm doing, it'll come to me. So I'll just start singing. And that's, that's, I think that's just my little communication with Jesus. So a couple years ago, this is my song, but they made it into a Christmas version. So I was like, yes, excited that they did. So just worship with me and may it bring, may you bring an offering to Jesus, whether it means monetary, whether it means presenting your body, a what? A living sacrifice for him. Yeah. 
Lord, who you are, to the most genuine time that we know, God. Lord, we give you glory tonight. We give you honor, because you are worthy, worthy of all the glory and all the praise. Hallelujah. song or through encouragement, they mean a lot. They speak volumes. It's not It's not always on how loud it is. Sometimes the most powerful uh, sayings are said in the quiet, and God speaks in those moments. But in those times, I just basically explained it. I said, man, we were created to worship. That was that. Before we do anything else, before we uh, go where God's called us to do, we are called to worship. And that's all we are really made to do is to worship. So when you get a hold of that in your heart and in your life, you can't you can't stop. It's something that's like a, it's like a well inside your heart that you just can't stop. And uh, let worship be that to you today. And no matter what 2019 brings, let worship be that. Because there's gonna be moments when the music does stop, and that's something I've even challenged in myself. Zach, what are you gonna do when the music stops? Will you still have a song to sing? And I believe that's the enemy's goal is for you to stop singing. But if you can find that song that God has put on your heart, I believe that mountains are going to move. Amen? Amen. The things that that, uh, uh, like in the story of Joseph, the things that that meant, meant for him were evil, but God turned around for good. And so uh, find your song. If that's, uh, if that's all I'm going to say is find your song. If it means taking a little extra time during devotion time in your own home. Maybe finding your prayer closet, spending an extra 20 minutes so you can find it. Let God speak to you. Because I, I found something as I've grown, grown older and I've been to hundreds of services. And I find that if it's not happening at home, it's hard to happen at church. Find that spot 
I'm not, and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be something where it's like, oh, I'm being showy. No, it's an expression of your heart. It's an expression of what God's doing on the inside. You don't know what your worship means to someone else, too. That's something I've learned as well. Your testimony. You don't know what your testimony will, how it'll affect someone else across the pew from you, across the neighbor, neighbor's house from you. That your song, that it employ the, the ears of creation. Because God has given you each a song. I don't care what your voice sounds like. God, all that, all that God wants to know is if you're going to sing for Him. Amen. He wants you to express it through that way. So thank you so much for worshiping with us this evening. God bless you guys. Amen.